Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with my first thoughts on A Short Hike. This is an indie title, uh, I believe it's part of the Itch uh, Black Lives Matter bundle with the like trillions of games in it that everybody got a couple of months back. Um, the Switch version obviously is not part of that because Nintendo. Uh, but yeah, so this game, you're playing as a little bird and you're going on a hike up a mountain and it sounds super adorable, so... It seems like a kind of game I will really like. Um, I haven't played it. Um, I've seen a little bit of footage, so I sort of know what to expect, but beyond that, not much. Um, but yeah, let's jump in. Okay, sun's rising. Oh, there's a little bird. Humble original. A short hike. Press A to start. Uh, options. Pixel size. Big and crunchy. Medium rare. Small and tasty. Tiny and sharp. Uh, changing this doesn't seem to affect anything on this screen. You can mess with the volume if you want. Uh, it looks like you can remap all the controls. Or, no, you can't remap them. This is just telling you what they are. Languages. It's available in Espanol or... Uh, fr fran French? I don't know how to say the word for French in French. <laughs> uh, it's got achievements, apparently. Credits. Personal message. This is a personal message just for you. That's right, you. Here it comes. Hope you have a nice day. Or version? Oh yeah, 1.8.0. Okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, we looked at the menu. Let's actually start the game. I never get tired of this view. You have to press a button? Yes. Claire. You're gonna have a great time here this summer. Is Claire the one talking? I don't really know. I think. It'll, oh, I think it'll be good to get away from the city and take a break from everything else going on. Uh, are you still awake? Mm, maybe. <laughs> Hold on a little longer. We're almost at the ferry. Okay, so that was a very cute intro. A Humble Original by Adam Robinson Yu with music by Mark Sparling. Uh, okay. So... Yeah, I can change the pixel size now and have it change the graphics. Uh, let's try it on the default for now. I might mess with it if I think it needs a bit more visibility. So yeah, I'm this bird here. Uh, I think I'm Claire. I, th I believe that's my character. Uh, I can jump with the A button. B button doesn't seem to do anything. Y button is uh, opens the menu. It's exactly the same as pressing plus. Um, minus does the same thing too. X doesn't do anything. Shoulder buttons don't do anything. The right stick lets me move the camera, but just a little bit. Uh, and yeah, you can, I can move with the left stick, or I can move with the D-pad. Okay, uh, let's get going. Uh, what do I do here? Can I go in back in this house, or doesn't look like it? Can I talk to you? A. Hey, how's it going? I haven't seen you all day. You been busy? Uh, kinda. Well, not really. I've just been waiting around for a call. Well, there's your problem. There's no reception out here. Wait. What? Yeah, I mean, pretty much no reception. You might be able to get some at Hawk Peak. Oh, yeah, I guess. But that's pretty far, isn't it? It's not that far. We've all made the trek before. I figured you would have gone already. Oh, yeah. I've been meaning to go, but... I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Well, today's as good a day as any. Just take White Beach Trail and head north at the fork. Then follow the signs for Hawk Peak. No problem. Alright, I guess I can do that. Uh, I've got a sandcastle here. I can stand on it, which is kind of funny. Something shiny here. You found a shell. 
Hmm, I wonder what shells do. Uh, I can swim. And I can jump out of the water, which is impressive. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, it looks it looks like Animal Crossing. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's adorable. Oh. This is very cute. Uh... Shell. It sparkles in the sun, but is otherwise pretty boring. Cell phone. It's useless without reception. Not even the games work offline. Can I equip these or something? There's another slot there, but I can't seem to put anything in it. Uh, I guess I'll keep going and see what I find. White Coast Trail. Oh yeah, I need to go there. Ranger's Cabin. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is a bit of a platforming tutorial, is it? Yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh, I can glide a little bit. Actually, I can glide quite a lot. I'm holding down A right now, and yeah, I can glide as a bird, because I'm a bird. <laughs> can I glide over there? I sure can. What's this? Uh, I skipped through the message by accident. Coin. It's money. Great for buying stuff and feeling secure. Okay, so we can buy stuff in this game. Oop. Oh no! Oh, it'll be okay. Just wait over here. <laughs> Claire! Did you know you can hold A while running to glide through the air? Of course. Everyone knows that. Why do you ask? I don't know. I just had a feeling you might want to know. Um... Okay. <laughs> this game is cute. Kind of weird that you can peek behind the mountain like this. Hmm. It's probably better than, like, not having the ability to see through things, in case then you can't see your character, that kind of thing. Anything behind the waterfall? Uh, it doesn't look like it. There's a little tree there. Hello. Hey, you! Find me 15 shells. What? Why? I want them. <laughs> yeah, but why? It's a secret. <laughs> okay. I'll keep an eye out. Keep both eyes out, please. <laughs> this game's cute. Oh, I got a stick? A wooden stick. Not sure why I picked this up. Okay, so I, I, I'm, I'm holding the stick now, you can see. Can I... Attack with it or something? Yeah, I can swing the stick. Uh, will there be enemies to fight? Or I don't know what to expect. So what's the deal with the shells? It's none of your business. Except for the business of you getting me 15 of them. <laughs> I like this game's writing. It's very cute. Uh, there's a second shell. Uh, how far out can I swim? Well, there's an island over here, so I guess I can go to here. Du, du, du. Back to Hawk Peak Island. Du, 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 du. I find another money. I'm guessing there's a way to fish because I'm seeing a lot of fishing related stuff. Oh, okay, so I'm holding two sticks now and I can swap them around. Like, I'm seeing all these fish everywhere. There's probably like a fishing rod or a net or something I can get. Hasn't happened yet, though. Hmm, I might turn up the pixel size just to tweak the experience a little. Oh yeah, it's much it's much less pixely now. If I make it tiny and sharp, does it... Oh yeah, even also. So yeah, I guess you can decide what experience you want. Big and crunchy is probably fun, though. I mean, look at that. It's, it's very retro. Uh, let's head up this way. This game is very pretty. Oh, there's something. Is that a shell? It is a shell. It's kind of hard to keep track of where I'm going. Good thing these signs are here to, like, remind me where to go and stuff. Otherwise I would have a problem. Can I get any higher up this mountain? Like, can I get to the top? Oh, maybe. Maybe if I keep following the path. Yeah, it's still going up, so maybe I can... Oh, hello. Glide over here. Uh, 
Okay, I can't get up there yet. I think you get more abilities in this game, like a like a double jump or something. So I might need to wait for that before I can get up there. I'm not really sure. <laughs> oh. Glidey, glidey, glide. Uh, I should probably get back on the main path now if I can find it. I think it's this way. Yeah, there's the path. Okay. Does this stick do anything when I hit stuff with it? I'm not sure. Okay, so why don't we go back to the island, which is this way. Yeah, here's the main island. Uh, so let's keep going. Ranger's Cabin. White Coast Trail. Can I go in this house? Doesn't look like it. Oh, music. Oh, what is that? Oh, lots of money. I, I just stole someone's money. <laughs> hey, Claire. How's the day treating you? Well, I'm just getting out of the house now. Ah. It's one of those kinds of days. Yeah. I've been kind of caught up in my head all morning. Hmm. Would you say you feel lost and directionless? Uh, maybe. Welp, I've got just the thing for you. Take this. You found a compass. To use it, press Y to open your inventory, then select it from the items menu. Oh, uh, thanks. This should come in handy. Happy hiking. What does the compass do? Tells you which way is north. Select to toggle on or off. Show. Oh, I see. So you can turn the compass off if you want more of a... If you want like a more um, organic exploration experience, I guess. Or you can leave it on if you want a reminder of what's going on. Sort of thing. I think. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. Is that a shell? Nope, that's money. This one's a shell though. Hawk Peak Trail, White Coast Trail, Sid Beach Visitor Center. Oh, a frog! Hey dude, what's happening? Oh, you know, just jamming out on the beach, building sandcastles and whatnot. Sounds like a good time. You know it. C can I borrow your shovel? Sorry bud, I need it for sandcastle construction. Isn't it a little big for that? Yeah, but that's just how shovels are. You can get smaller ones. One's made for sandcastles. What? Sounds fake. <laughs> but if you can show me one, I'd be glad to trade. <laughs> oh, this game's writing is cute. And I found some more money. Gotta be someone that money belongs to, right? Oh, is that a crack in the ground? Oh, I bet there's buried fossils and stuff. That's why I need the shovel. We're doing, we're doing an Animal Crossing here. Oh gosh, this is cute. Let's go around this way. Oop, oops. You move quick enough that if you fall down, it's not really a big deal. So that's nice. Yeah, I'm gonna have to dig there once I have the ability to. Ah! <laughs> oh, I could just climb up that way the whole time. Okay. <laughs> Oh, this game's adorable. Let's go this way. Do, do, do. Oh, more friends. Hello. Hey there. What are you up to today? Uh, I'm hiking up to Hawk Peak. That's a tough hike. You know, you'll need to learn to rock climb to make it to the top. Wanna join our rock climbing club? Oh, uh, is it just the two of you? Hey. The Rock Climbing Association has hundreds of members spanning over 35 countries worldwide. <laughs> hundreds of members growing and refining the art of rock climbing, pushing the craft to its absolute limit and beyond. Uh, I meant, if it's just the two of you, like, here. What of it? <laughs> Listen, kid. Climbing ain't for the weak of heart. Most people don't have what it takes. Um... It's not really that bad. 
So anyway, you want to join the Climbers Club? Sure. Great. We've got our third member. Not third. Just another drop. In the hundreds. Worldwide. Alright, alright. Anyway. So first things first. You get a, you've got a golden feather? Oh, not yet. Ah. You can't climb without one. But you can buy them at the visitor center. They should be pretty cheap. Come back when you bought one. Uh, okay. So I need to buy a golden feather. Alright. Hello. I've heard some rumors. Do you like rumors? I dabble. Okay, hear me out. Jim just bought a metal detector. He was running around yesterday. Looking for stuff around the island. It was, it was going nutso. Seems like there's stuff buried all over the island? What kind of stuff? I don't know. Metal stuff? Huh. I guess maybe we want to dig around for some metal stuff. I was thinking of fossils, but it's possible it's just metal stuff. And I found some more money. It's always good. Here's a fire. Hello. Howdy. How can I help you? I heard you sell golden feathers here. Ah, we do. You can buy one for 40 coins. Uh, what else do you sell? We also sell Provincial Park merchandise. I kind of low on stock. That's good, actually. It's been a busy season. Provincial Parks must be trending or something. It's possible. Anyway, we only have one hat left. It costs 100 coins. Uh, okay, I can't afford it, so I'll just buy the feather, I guess? Sure, here you go. Catching, you found a golden feather. Let me explain how they work. If you press A while in midair, you can flap your wings for a double jump. But that's not all. To climb a wall, push against it and hold A. The more golden feathers you have, the more you'll be able to climb and fly. Have fun out there. Oh, okay. Uh, in the bottom left corner, there's now a little feather icon. Okay, okay, so it's like a stamina meter. Can I climb up this wall now? I'm not really sure how the wall climbing works yet. I might go back to the rock climbers and see if they'll help me. You got a golden feather? Yup. Great. So, to get started. You can try climbing this short wall here. Just push against the wall and hold A. Nice one. Whatever. That climb is easy. Real pros use the big wall. This one. Oh, my shirt changes colour to show how much energy I've got. Oh, that's adorable. If you're having trouble with the big wall, just watch my technique. It's highly refined from years of climbing. I don't think I, I don't think I can climb the big wall without another feather. Uh. Whoa, good climbing. It was all right. So, I know you can fly and all, but your stamina will last longer if you climb places instead. Just something to keep in mind. Cool. So, what's next? To Hawk Peak. Oh, okay. I still need to warm up my- I still need to warm up myself. But I'll see you up there? Alright. Okay, so, uh, yeah. It's got like a climbing system. That helps me get up some of these walls, which is helpful. Um, I guess I want more golden feathers, but I don't know if they're always 40 coins or if I need to get them from other things. Uh, I guess we'll see.
Do, 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 do. What's it say here? Blackwood Trail, Hawk Peak Trail, Visitor Center, White Beach Trail. I can read it from inside. Oops. <laughs> Not quite what I had in mind. Hello. Uh, hmm. Hi. Hi. Uh, are you okay? Uh, not really. I'm supposed to run a marathon race today, but I've lost my lucky headband. I've worn it to every race I've ever run. I... I don't know if I could race without it. Where'd you lose it? Somewhere in Blackwood Forest. I think. I could take a look for you. Really? You'd do that for me? Sure. It's a red headband. I can give you a reward. I can give you a pair of running shoes. Don't you need those yourself? Well, I just got sponsored by this shoe company. They gave me like 10 pairs. Whoa. Congrats. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. But, uh, let me know if you see a red headband. Okay, I need to go look for the headband and then I get running shoes. Oh, hello. A toy shovel. I can swap that for a real shovel. Hang on, you're wearing a red headband. Come back here. Oh, uh, weird question, but... Where'd you get that headband? Uh, I don't know. I've had it for ages. Why? Oh, well, I was just talking to this rabbit. She said she lost her headband somewhere in the forest. Oh, you mean Sue? Maybe? I didn't get her name. She was really worried about it, though. She said it was lucky and she needs it to race. I'm supposed to race her later today. She's so talented, I've been really looking forward to it. Hmm. What if I gave you mine? I'm pretty sure it's the same kind. Maybe she wouldn't notice? Oh, hmm. But... Then it wouldn't be lucky? Ugh, I don't know. Just take it. See if she wants it. You found a headband. Thanks, turtle. Or tortoise? I don't know. Friend. I guess I'll just keep walking a little bit more and see if there's like another headband or if I'm just supposed to take this one back. I'm guessing I'm just supposed to take this one back, but there might be another one. You never know. So there's a bunch of money hidden in the woods. <laughs> so that's cool. Uh... Where's the bunny gone? Hello, bunny. Any luck finding my headband yet? Well, I found this. Hmm. That's not it. The sweat stains aren't in the right place. Ew. Where did you find this? Actually, the turtle gave it to me. They said you could have it. They're looking forward to the race and didn't want you to miss it. What? Really? Taylor the Turtle? They're like, the regional champion? This headband has to be like, at least twice as lucky. Possibly even quadruple lucky. Okay, I'll take it. I'm so pumped. Take these running shoes. You found a running shoes. You can hold X to run with them. However, just keep in mind that running requires golden feathers. Okay, I can't run very far with just one golden feather, but it's something. <laughs> is there a spot that shows you how many you have, or is it just because there's one in the bottom there and maybe it'll show two later when I get a second one? I, I don't know. I can't run very far. I have very limited stamina. <laughs> I gave it to her. So she's back in the race? Yes! Awesome. I'm glad I could help. Cute. Money. If the feathers still cost 40, I can go buy another one. I probably want that hat as well, though. Meteor Lake Overlook, Hawk Peak Trail, Blackwood Trail. I 
kind of wish you had more camera control, but I sort of get why you don't. It, it, it does make sense. You just got to, like, twitch the camera a little bit sideways control. Mm. Hello. Hey. Are you doing the race today? Yeah. I'm kind of busy right now. What do you want? Can I join the race? <sighs> Registration ended, like, last month. Why does no one read the rules? He's the second person I've had to turn away today. Anyway, I gotta go. Okay, so there's someone else around who wants to race and can't, so maybe I can chat to them and they might give me a cuddle or something? I don't know. <laughs> I got no idea. Um, this way... It would be nice to get some sort of map, but I understand if it doesn't give you one. Based on the way this game is working. Hmm. Oh, it's getting cold. Good Creek Path, Meteor Lake. I do need to go back and give that guy the, the toy shovel. Get it traded for a real shovel. So I can do shovel things. Money, money. <laughs> so yeah, let's head back that way. Oh, oh, hello. Give me that shell. Yeah. Swim, 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 swim. I'm guessing there's no, like, sense of fall damage or anything. So I can probably just uh, go down all the waterfalls I want and not have any problems. That seems to be the case anyway. Uh, you, I'm looking for shells for you, I think. I think that's the same person. <laughs> uh, uh, you gave me the compass. You have the shovel. Hey, check out this shovel I found. It might be a little more your size. Oh, that's perfect. Let's trade. You found a shovel. When you want to use my shovel, press Y to open your inventory and equip it. Keep it fresh. Okay, so I now have something else I can equip, which is the shovel here. And dig little holes. Uh, what else can I do with it? I'm guessing I can dig that up. Oh, it's just money. Okay, that makes sense. Still good though. Can dig friend holes now. Uh, let's see if we can buy another feather. Because, yeah, boosting my stamina would be really good. What's this? Hmm. Oh, a shell. I have eight now. Hello. It's going to be a marathon race at Meteor Lake today. The competition this year is fierce. Yeah, I heard about it. Oh, an artist. Hello. Hey, what's your painting? Oh, you can't tell? Um, it's supposed to be the coastline. Though, I'm trying to go for a more abstract look. Ah, I think I can see it now. It's still a work in progress, but I don't know if I like where it's going. I think I'm going to head over to the Blackwood Forest Lighthouse soon. I'm still... Trying to find the right inspiration. Okay. Um, that won't work. Yeah, I can't actually climb high enough to reach that one yet. I need more feathers. Shell nine. More money. Shell ten. Money, money. <laughs> Okay, I can see stuff up there, but I don't think I can reach it yet. Oh, 
Hawk Peak Trail. Notice, Hawk Peak Trail is a strenuous hike. You might need golden feathers to complete it. Golden feathers are for sale at the visitor center. I think the visitor center is also in this direction. Unless I've gotten mixed up, which is possible. Hmm, I was planning on hiking to Hawk Peak, but the path suddenly got really steep. Do you think it's climbable? Well, it would be if I had a golden feather. Apparently they sold them at the visitor center. I think the visitor center is this way, maybe? No, this is the beach. Um, <laughs> yeah, navigating's a little tricky. There's the bunny. Um, where did the visitor center go? That was here somewhere. Hey yo, how's the hike treating you? Oh, uh, it's been nice. It's really beautiful here. I know, right? The view from the top will be so good. You're going to Hawk Peak too? Oh no, that's too intense for me. I'm just going to Outlook Point. Will I seek you there? Yeah, I'll meet you at the top. Awesome. Catch you later. Ooh, we can have a bit of a look around. So I don't know where the visitor center is. It's here somewhere. <laughs> Hawk Peak Trail, Good Creek Path, Royal Ridge, Blackwood Trail. Hmm. Oh, there's a shell. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't where the visitor center is. I have lost it. <laughs> it's here somewhere. Yeah, I think a little little map option would be would have been nice. Um, as far as I know, this guy are they, is this it? This visitor center? Excuse me, do you have the time? Um, yeah, let me check. See, normally I would know the time. I just lost my watch. Okay. Oh, um, sorry. It's very expensive and priceless when you consider the sentimental value. I see. If you find it, can you bring it back to me? Sure. Please don't sell it on the internet or whatever. It's very valuable to me. No, don't worry. I'll bring it right back. Okay. Thanks. Oh, there's a golden feather. Just sort of hanging out in, in the open. You found a golden feather. Okay, so it's just showing two of them at the bottom there, instead of one. Oh, I can go in a cave. The way forward is blocked. Oh, I, I guess it's like a shortcut, maybe? Like, once I go later in the game, it'll open up and I can do something with it? I, I don't know, I'm guessing. Well, I can do two double jumps now, which is nice, and I'm guessing I can climb about twice as far as I could before, which is useful. Oh, almost. Hmm. There we go. Just 
So I don't know where the visitor center is. Eh, let's just keep going. We'll find it eventually. Or we won't find it, and we'll just have fun doing other things. Hmm, maybe I'll visit Royal Ridge. Okay, so we've got, um, like a tower here. We're supposed to go in through one of the windows or something? Maybe? Maybe I'm supposed to climb the tower? I'm not sure. I assume there's a reason to grab all these sticks, because I keep finding more and more of them. Hmm. This is really cute. I would really like the writing, and the characters are adorable, and... This is really good. Um, it's confusing though. Yeah, I think maybe a little bit of navigation help would be nice. Maybe there's something I can get that gives me more help? I don't know. Like, I got the compass, so I might be able to get a map or something. Oh, there's treasure. Give me that treasure. <gasps> it's another golden feather! Nice! I've got three of them now. So yeah, I can do three three little jumps in midair. Or I can climb a lot more. Both of which are good. Uh, can these power lines electrocute me? I assume not, given how this game usually works, but... Doesn't look like it. They seem to be harmless. This tractor... Now I need my uh, shovel. Money, money. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is a graveyard. That's a bit somber. And now it's raining. Hmm. Doo -doo -doo. Does it just always rain here? Like, is that the idea? Oh, thank goodness. I was worried that um, climbing would make everything would be all like slippery because of the rain, but it doesn't work like that in this game, apparently. Hi. My name is Avery. I'm on a quest to become a parkour racing master. Neat. You bet your bottom dollar it's neat. However, I'm trying to find someone to practice with. So... Any chance you want to go for a race? Sure. Fantastic. So there's this abandoned building to the west of here? At least, I think it's abandoned? Anyway, I'm thinking we should race to the top of it. Whoever touches the post up there first wins. And also, we should only use five golden feathers during this race. That'll make it more interesting. You ready? Let's race. I probably need, I probably need to have five to be able to do this. Yeah. I want to find more feathers. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Um, and yeah, it limits it to a certain number of feathers, so you're not just super overpowered, I guess. Which is sensible. What's this? Money? Money, money. Hang on, can I? Oh, I got a pickaxe. Can I, like, do something with it? I... <laughs> I don't know what it's for. Pickaxing. <laughs> Shell. Do 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 do. 
There's another shell. Now it's my shell. I took it for myself. Howdy. Hi. What you doing? Taking a break. Huh. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, alright? I won't. I don't even know who I'd tell. <laughs> good. I can't wait to be done today. When my shift's over, I'll be out catching me some rare fish. It's my hobby, you see. If you happen to net some fish yourself, bring them to me and I'll trade your coin. I would if I had a fishing rod. You know, my friend Bill might be able to lend you one. He's out fishing all the time. Okay, I don't know who Bill is, so... Hopefully I can figure out where Bill is. Oh, a treasure map. Uh, treasure map. It says, His vessel was lost on the water, but the beacon found and caught her. So he buried his trade at the end of its shade to keep safe for the light like keep his daughter. Okay, so are they all limericks? Because that would be amazing. <laughs> Don't know who Bill is, but I would like to get a fishing rod, right? so let's go for a bit of a wander. Yeah, there's no way I can climb that with just three feathers. I'm with 15 shells. If I can ever find my way back, I can put those in the right spot <laughs> and give them back to that kid or whoever who wanted me to get the shells. You remember. Remember that person? Yeah. Of course you do. Oh, the pickaxe can break this open. Okay. Oh, I bet... No, the way forward is blocked. Okay. I thought this was the other tunnel that I already found, but it's not. It's a different one. But I guess, yeah, you break it open from this end, and then you can open it from the other end as well? Oh, look where we are! This is where we started. We've looped all the way around the island. I'm getting this house now. Is there anything up here? Mm, doesn't seem to be. But I do have enough shells. Hello. Hey, I got your shells. Ooh, I'll take them. So, now what? What? I mean, uh, do I get anything? No. Jeez, not even a thank you? That's not very nice. I do what it takes to survive. I never promised you anything. Actually, I do have something for you. A new job. I already have a job. Well, make this your side gig. What if I don't take it? It's your loss. Good jobs are hard to find. So, what'll it be? Uh, what's the job? Good. Take this. We found a shell necklace. And deliver it to Ranger May. That is all. I don't know who Ranger May is, but I'll keep that in mind. Treasure. It's just more money. Still good. Money's useful. Uh, you're the one who lost your watch. Yeah, I think the visitor center was just here, but now it's gone? Oh, I'm just in the- oh, no, there it is. It's up there. Okay. That makes more sense. <laughs> Hello. Howdy. What's up? How much do you sell? One hat left. You've got 100 coins. Yeah, I'll take it. You found a provincial park hat. 
Why don't you try it on? Provincial Park hat. Where? Looking sharp in that hat. What's up? We're all out. You bought the last hat. Are you gonna are you guys gonna order more? Not until next season. Each season is a limited run. I guess I'm lucky I got the last one. <laughs> I suppose so. Uh can I buy a golden feather? Ka ching! Can I just keep buying more? Oh, that's actually all the feathers we have. A boy came by earlier and bought most of most our remaining stock. Heckin' boys. I'll have to find more elsewhere. Sorry. Okay, so I need to spend my money on other things now. But I do have four feathers, so that's cool. That'll help me navigate more better. I wonder what the maximum is. Like, it's, it's more than five, obviously, but I don't know how many there are total. Maybe ten? Probably not, though. I don't know. We'll see. Do, 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 do. This game is very chill. I like it. Oh, just made it. Okay. <laughs> do, do, do. Oh, oh, there's a shell. I don't know if I need to get more, but I may as well, just in case. Might be a prize or something. If I get more shells. I think I don't have enough feathers to climb this. That looks really steep. Yeah. That'll have to wait. Um... Oh, there's treasure over there. Give me that treasure. <laughs> the chest opening launched me into the air. That's pretty funny. Uh, glide, glide, glide. Yeah, the restricted camera is a little confusing. It's alright, I guess, but it's, it's a bit weird. Can't really see where you want to go next because there's no like ability to look around. Like in that other game that this is referencing. Or you know, taking mechanics from. Still no fishing rod, which is a shame because I can see a lot of fish there. have a little picnic here if you wanted. Oh, hang on. Oh, umbrellas are bouncy. Want to get up there without using any feathers? Yeah. And I can fly over here. Oh, almost. I think I can maybe do that. Not quite. Okay. Oh, hang on. Is that a bit taller? Maybe. It is. Is this the abandoned building from earlier? Or possibly abandoned building? Can I break this crate with my pickaxe? No, but I can knock it around, which is funny. Oh, hang on. There's something underneath. Hello. Treasure. Well, money anyway. This is a really cute game. I, I don't know if you've noticed, but it's pretty adorable. I'm getting the controls a little mixed up because they're not quite the same as in Animal Crossing. Because obviously I'm getting huge Animal Crossing vibes from this. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, another treasure map. It's probably like a riddle or whatever. Oh, I see. So they got it added to the list. Okay. Yeah, I already got that one. This music is really good. Glide. 
Wait, oh, hello, what's that? Is there like an entrance there? Oh, no, it looked like an entrance, but it's just, no. Okay. <laughs> but I could go inside the mountain. Oh, here's some money. Thank you. I'm sure no one needed that. Get another stick, get another shell. Still don't know what these are for. <laughs> hmm. A ball? <gasps> let's go, let's go. Let's kick the ball. Can it float? Does it float? Yes, it floats. <laughs> Clunk. <laughs> Physics. <laughs> hey, looks like you got the net set up. Are you usually gonna play volleyball? Volleyball? Nah. We invented our own game. I think it's gonna be the next big thing. Alright. Claire. Hmm? I formally challenge you to a game of Beach Stick Brawl. Ooh, that means you have to play. Yeah, you have to. It's the law. You can't fight the law. Sure you can. You can fight the law. Okay, okay. I'll play. Yay! So, how do you play? Step over to the other side of court, and I'll teach you everything I know. Uh, I'm guessing I need to use a stick. Uh, I have one equipped automatically. So, beach stick ball has only three simple rules. Rule number one, hit the ball with your stick. Yeah, hit it real hard. Rule number two, don't let it hit the ground. I mean, for the most part. Julie is the ref, so it's all up to her. It's all up to me. Rule number three, believe in yourself. <laughs> That's adorable. That's the most important rule. Don't ever forget it. That's pretty much it. Are you ready? I guess so. Okay, ready, set, go. <laughs> Oops. Did I lose? Nope. You can never lose. When you play beach stick ball, everyone wins. Except if you pop the ball. Then I guess you lose. Otherwise, Beach Stick Ball is a pu purely co-op game. You mean co-op game? Oh, he said coop game, sorry. Yeah, a coop game. It means we work together to get a high score. That sounds nice. We get a point for every pass we make. If we can get to 10 points, I'll give you a prize. I counted four hits, but I counted five. The serve doesn't count. What? It totally counts. What do you think, Claire? It counts. Yeah, see? Fine. You get five points then. Okay, here we go. Seven hits. I'm getting there. Seven again. Dean. Yes! We did it! As promised, I've got a prize for you. Take this. <gasps> a golden feather! You're really good. With your skill, we might even be able to make it to 20. But that would still be pretty hard. I wonder if getting 20 gives me, like, another prize. <sighs> D 
Oh, this is the graveyard. And then it starts raining. We do that race now because I have five feathers and that's how many she said to use. Oh, they said to use, I don't know. Avery's pronouns. Um. Da, 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 da. So, how about that race? Let's race. Awesome. Let's do this. Uh, not really sure which way we need to go. Oh, I see. There's a flag there. And yeah, it was this building. I thought it was. Made it. <laughs> this little pop of confetti. Adorable. Okay. I have to admit, you are good. But, I feel like I was just getting warmed up. There's this big race happening today. Well, um, it's a little embarrassing, but I was supposed to run in the marathon today. But it turns out I missed registration. Oh. Sorry, that sucks. Yep. I gotta say, I was pretty bummed out. Kinda felt like giving up on racing. But then I spent like two hours watching parkour videos, and now my new passion is parkour racing. So whatever. <laughs> I'm glad you're willing to help me practice. Hey, what's up? Try, do I want a rematch? Totally. I'll do better this time. We doing the same race? Or is it like a different one? It looks the same. Yeah, she beat me. Dang it. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, let's try this one more time. I got five feathers, so I should be able to climb that fine. Yeah. I won. You put up a good race. That was really fun. Is there a prize? Oh, I nearly forgot. I've got something for you. A walkie-talkie. If you ever get lost during a race, ring me up and we can start over. Okay, well that's helpful. Um, can I use it for other things? Like, or is it just for talking? An ancient incarnation of the cell phone uses to contact Avery. Hey, I'm right here. Okay, so I can talk to Avery from anywhere? Like if I walk over here, maybe? Hey, where are you? I'm still at that old building. Oh, cool, so she'll remind me where, where she is. Neat. Or oh, they, sorry. I'm making assumptions. Uh... Do, 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 do. I really like this game. <laughs> I think this was a good choice. Um, I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, well, it's really foggy just here. Okay, we're above the fog. What's happening here? Just a little house. A feather! I have six feathers now. Even more powerful. <laughs> yeah, I'll grab some of this money that's lying around. I wonder if there's other outfits. Like, I've got this hat. Maybe there's other dress-up things you can get as well. 
probably, considering the game's inspirations both had clothing stuff you could do. Eh, we'll see. What's this? The Helianthus dis 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 uh, I can't read that. Dis Disultantus rubber flower. Hawk Peak Provincial Park of Park's official flower. This unique species blooms instantly in flash flooding conditions, infl like inflating like a water balloon. Experience it for yourself with one of the park's communal water buckets. All buckets are property of the park. Please do not remove buckets from the park. Hmm. A bucket full of water seems heavy. I don't think I could fly or climb something carrying a bucket full of water. But I could probably still glide. Okay, so I'm going to grab the bucket. Yeah, I glide much slower, look. Oop. Well, I mean faster, like I fall faster. And then I want to tip the water on the, this plant, I assume. Oh, the bucket wasn't full. Now it's full. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Uh, oh no, my feathers are freezing. It's too cold up there. Oh no. Well, I have a bucket of water now, so I can use those other little saplings that were lying around. Uh, hello, Froggy. I'm so stoked to eat breakfast. But it's already the afternoon. Tomorrow is breakfast. It's the best meal of the day. Sometimes when I'm about to go to bed, I get so excited by the thought of it that I have trouble sleeping. Adorable. <laughs> oh, fishing rod. Can I get a fishing rod from you? Hello. 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 How's it going? Good. The fish are biting today. Cool, cool. So, uh, is fishing hard? Nope. It's easy. I could show you if you'd like. Yeah. Here. I'll lend you my spare rod. You found a fishing rod. Casting your line is pretty easy. Just press B. So, uh, what do I do now? You wait. Oh. Okay. Uh, am I doing this right? Yup. Maybe I should cast it again? You know, find a better spot? This spot is good. I saw some fish around here earlier. That's a good sign. Sometimes you just gotta wait. Patience is key. Hmm. Not my strong suit. Look alive. A fish is nibbling. Should I pull it out? Not yet. You gotta wait for it to bite. Now, press B to yank it out. Uh, what do I do now? Pull back and tap B to reel it in. Oop, oh, hmm. Interesting technique. This was just an accident. That's alright. Just give it another shot. And remember, once you've hooked the fish, pull back and tap B to reel it in. I think I was, I was pulling backwards on the stick, like towards me, and I think that made me walk into the water because of the way the camera was facing. Uh, looks like the fish actually disappear when you cast your line, which is different to what I expected. So you cast it really far, like compared to Animal Crossing. Oh, dang it.
Oh, I got something. You caught a fish. Big northern pike. 96.2 centimeters. New. I got a fish. I got a fish. I did it. Sorry I fell in the water. It's pretty embarrassing. Not at all. You've got spirit, kid. He's just over here. Money, money, money. I'm not really sure what the money's for because I've already bought everything in the visitor center. But I assume there's other places I can spend money that I just haven't reached yet. Where do you think you're going? Ugh. I hate leg days. It's dangerous to go slow. That's why I go fast. <laughs> Alright. I guess that makes sense. It's probably too tall, right? Yeah. Got a lot of feathers. Oh, there's a plant that I can uh, maybe water with my bucket. Do I still have the bucket? Yeah, I do. Equip. I've got to fill the bucket first. Got to find some water. Uh, I think there's some down here. Yes. Now it's a full bucket, so I won't be able to fly or climb because I'm carrying a full bucket of water. I can glide though. How do I get up there? Oh, there we go. Okay. <gasps> feather! Found another golden feather! <laughs> uh, I think we're pretty much wrapping up the video at this point. I mean... I've played for an hour and I've got a good gist of what the game's about and I'm really liking it and you know if this looks like a fun thing to you you should play this game too it's called uh, something about a hike it's called a short hike and you're a little bird and you're going around doing bird things like climbing mountains that's what birds do right <laughs> oh my goodness actually can I take this pickaxe too yeah I can is there a reason to do that Six sticks, pickaxe. Am I not carrying two pickaxes? Maybe? <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, I was meant to use it to break this. And I can go through here. Maybe this tunnel is open on the other side? It is. Where am I? <laughs> oh, it's here. Where is he? Oh, right, right, right. This is where where the Golden Feather people were. Okay, okay, I understand now. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you unlock little shortcuts by opening by finding both ends of the tunnel and smashing them open. So that's handy. Um, yeah, I think I've done about what I'm doing for this video. I already said that, but you know, a short hike looks like a super cute game, and I'm really going to enjoy it. And if this looks like your kind of game, you'll probably really enjoy this too. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye! <gasps> <E> <laughs> oh my goodness. Bye-bye.